Hey everybody, and here we are in the withering lamb of March, as you can hear by the raindrops. It's time for another Q&A Patreon style. Here we go. First question, how do you and Stacy like your eggs? Well, I talked to Stacy. Stacy likes her eggs scrambled with a little bit of cheese if possible, mostly like a little bit well done. As for me, I'm a little more complicated. I tend to treat eggs a little more specifically. I'm not a fan of eggs as a lead actor or supporting actor. I prefer them more as ensemble. If I can see them or point them out whatsoever in a dish or a meal, no, not at all. I want them gone. They must be behind the scenes. They must be a supernumerary. They must not have an identity. They must blend in at all costs. I just don't like them. I think they're too, like, packing foamy to me. I just never like the taste of them. I know. Next question. What are some unusual things that you have fixed with duct tape? Hmm. I dated somebody once who had a purse that she completely made out of duct tape. I'm trying to think of anything else I've used to, like, unusually. I fixed a couple of um, holes in carpets. I once burnt a um, substantial amount of carpet with a lamp, um, and I put duct tape over that one time. Oh, I allegedly, this is for legal purposes, allegedly may have used duct tape to um, open a door that was locked in my own apartment because it's just the right amount of thickness to open certain types of locked doors. Allegedly. What is your favorite midnight snack? Well, my favorite midnight snack is usually is pretzels. I'll usually have a handful of them in the dark, and I'll sit there in the rocking chair of ours called um, Blanche, after Blanche from the Golden Girls, and I'll sit there rocking back and forth and have some pretzels and just eat them very slowly and chew. And I just like the taste. And then I think about how the origin of pretzels allegedly came from the uh, monks who took the leftover pieces of bread, the communion bread, and would put the strips together. And they liked the way it looked because it looked like hands folded in prayer. And I think about that and those little hands in my tummy and it just makes me a little happy. And then when I feel not so, you know, sore in my stomach, I go back to bed. What is the last thing stuck in my head on repeat? This is the big one. Now, those of you who know me know that I am a super huge fan of 70s singer-songwriters or 70s musicians, a genre of rock that you might say is a bit, well, soft enough that if it was a cheese, you wouldn't leave it out too long because it would be a bit too runny. The Michael McDonald's, the James Taylor's, the Christopher Cross's, but even then, there is one group, one band, that is probably embarrassing enough that even I feel embarrassed about to admit just by its name alone. It is a dumb name for a band. Its name. Ambrosia. Yeah, I'm serious. That's the name of this group, Ambrosia. Like the stuff you buy at the goddamn grocery store. They were a three-hit wonder, really, in the 70s and 80s, and you know most likely two of their three songs. Um, the first two are actually good songs. Pick them up. They're fun. Um, the first one you probably know is um, You're the Only Woman. You're the only woman that I'm dreaming of. Good song. Second one is um, The Biggest Part of Me. You know. You're the biggest part of me. Whoa! Make a wish, baby! And I'll make your dreams come true. That's a fun one. Now, here's the third one. 
this goddamn song has been in my head all week. And this song is the worst in terms of its lyrics. It's, um, How Much I Feel. How Much I Feel. Ambrosia writes love songs. That's what they did. How Much I Feel is also a love song, kind of. The speaker basically starts off in the first verse. He is being accused of cheating on her. And the way he talks about it in the song, it sounds like it kind of did. But he's saying, oh my god, you think I'm cheating and being untrue. But if you want me to go, I guess I'll go. But, you know... I want you to know, and the chorus is how much I feel for you, baby. How much I, you know, I need your love. And how much I feel, you know, I need your touch. Just how much, that's how much. And the second verse is all about, oh God, I'm so torn up. And if you forgive me, I'll forgive you. And all this passive aggressive crap. And then the third verse. This is where it gets real, real messed up. I will just say the lyrics until I start singing them. So, they are as follows. How's your life been going on? I've got a wife now. Years. We've been going strong. Oh no. There's just something that I've got to say. Sidebar. No. You don't need to say this part. You really don't do. Stop. 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 Sometimes when we make love, I can still see your face. Ooh, just try to recall when we were as one, yeah. That's how much I feel, feel for you, baby. I know, totally fucking creepy, right? So gross. Let it go, man. But that's been in my head most of the week, and it's won't let go. <laughs> so, those are the questions for this month. Questions for you. What's your favorite song with the dumbest lyrics? Number two. What would be the title of your autobiography? Love you guys.